TJ from the future here. I figured out what F-L-O-I-M-A-C stands for in the video that I'm about to do. It stands for Floppy Image Access. So when I keep saying, what's Flow iMac mean? Well, now you know. Continue watching the video and hopefully you enjoy it. Bye. And then I'm going to connect these to it and then see if Midi Maze magically starts working. And I'll play with myself for a while. I don't know if I should say it like that, but you get my drift. And then maybe I'll invite my wife in over here to help play with me. <laughs> oh, it's Friday and my mind's in the gutter. But hi, folks. TJ here. We're sitting in front of my TTO30, an Atari computer. Awesome 68030. And we want to put some new software on here, games. Specifically, I purchased my first MIDI cables ever. I've never had a MIDI cable. I used to have Ataris from 1980 up until 1995, but I never explored MIDI. I never purchased MIDI cables. I purchased these, and you're asking probably why, TJ? Why? You're not a musician. Uh, because I want to play MIDI maze. Probably everybody that knows Atari knows what a MIDI maze is. I remember seeing it at various Atari shows that I went to, but I don't believe I ever played it. I can't go back that far in time with my brain and know, did I play it? I know about it. I know you can play it on the Atari STs. And so I grabbed it. And then the file was downloaded as a .st image, a .st file. And you can't just slap that on here and double click on it and it do its thing. You have to use a different program to manipulate it to then copy said files because it's basically a disk image. And that disk image needs to be presented in a way that this computer can see. And I want to be able to install the program or install the game or whatever. I've already explored this once because I wanted to connect and network my Atari computers together. And every networking program I found, and specifically one called Duet, came as a .st image. So I went down a rabbit hole and I started exploring and I found a couple of programs that's supposed to open and view .st images so you can grab the stuff off there. One of them I couldn't get to work and it may have just been something I was doing, but then I found another one that did work. Now I'm not sure the proper way and name to call it because it says Flow iMac. That's the way I read it. And when I see the word iMac, I think of an iMac. But I'm sure it must mean something else. That didn't come over as a .sd image. So fortunately, I was able to sneaker net it with a floppy. I've got uh, a USB floppy that I connect to my old MacBook. And I grab the images and I slap it on a file and stick it in my Atari. And I can then transfer and do it. That's how I'm doing things today. In the future, I hope to go beyond that, but today we're still doing sneaker net stuff. Uh, so what I did is, uh, on my C drive, this is multi-toss, by the way, on an Atari TT. Let me focus in on the screen a little bit better. Uh, so it may fur, uh, blur me out a little bit, but it should focus in on the screen a little better. So I'm gonna manipulate the stuff here a little bit. Now, you may not see this perfectly, but I think you'll get the gist of things, uh, and we'll see how the video flies here. Uh, so hopefully it stayed focused in on the screen. So I have my multi toss system running, and I made a folder called Tools. Should I get in a little closer? <laughs> I think so. I'm thinking that maybe you may want to see some of this a little bit better. Uh, scrunch, uh, flick open, that's going to be about, <laughs> let's try that and focus in on the screen. We'll see if that works. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's called F-L-O-I-M-A-C, Flow iMac. <laughs> That's the way I read it. Uh, maybe you're supposed to read it a different way, but F-L, floppy, maybe F-L-O stands for floppy. Uh, iMac, what's that stand for? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this one seems to work. Uh, and I've only done it once, so Come along with me and we're going to try doing it again because Mini Maze was downloaded as a .st image. So I need to unscrunch it. I need to do whatever to slap it on this computer. And my hopes are that I can install Mini Maze here and on a uh, Mega 2 ST 
and use these cables and connect them together and then make a future video on me playing. Maybe I can get my wife to, to play along with me. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to double click on Flow iMac. And it brings up this disk image access by PP. Uh, is it Peter Putnick? Peter? Peter? I, I'm trying to remember the, the, the gentleman's name. I'll try to put a link down below to where you can grab this program on the internet. And it's basically very simple. There's a select image and mount. So what you're doing is you're selecting it and it's mounting it in space. We'll call it in memory. Uh, it's basically kind of making a faux logical drive, whatever I'm going to call it. In this case, he's recommending I, so I'll stick with it. Uh, and so I'm going to select the image. Where did I put it? Well, I happen to put it on D and I happen to put it in a games folder and a MIDI maze folder. And there it is, MIDI maze.st. So when I single click on it and then click OK, it comes up with this again. It doesn't tell me, oh, you need to read the directions. And I don't remember if the directions spelt this out, but I think it did or I figured it out that after you uh, uh, bring a logical drive in, like if you connect a hard drive to this, you need to tell uh, TOS, load up that image so you can view it and see the hard drive. It's not like a modern computer. You plug it in and it automatically pops up on the desktop. So I do need to exit, it, it, it uh, did its thing. Supposedly on a logical drive, I should be the info. So I'm gonna click exit. Now one thing that I do see a hiccup, you see this window, this may just be a bug or whatever, but uh, it left part of the program on, on the desktop. It didn't erase itself. It didn't clean up after itself. But we're gonna go up to options, down to install devices. And you'll see that popped up I and U. I don't know what U is. Maybe it's some working directory device that uh, this program made. I didn't quite follow that, but I, I do know that I said make. So let's go ahead and double click on it. Voila, there's all the contents of that .st file that I grabbed over the internet. Did I start this recording? <laughs> I sure hope so. We're gonna go with it. If not, I'll have to do this all over again. Uh, so there's all the files. Now, I need to do something with these. If I turn off the computer, this is going to disappear. Uh, so I need to move them someplace. So I think what I'm going to do is put them uh, in that MIDI maze folder I had before. So D, games, MIDI maze, and there's the .sd file. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we can copy all of this over to here. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, the, the older mice, you got to really click and drag and go slow. Okay, copy files. Okay. Now it's copying everything from that I directory over to my D directory where I have for games. Now this video is not to install the game or play the game, but we're going to just see if these files now transferred over there. So I'll, let me close I. Uh, so it copies some stuff. Are there any readmes? Download.txt. Let's go ahead and open it and show it. Uh, oh, it's in German. You know, the Germans love the Ataris. Uh, I was so envious back in the day as I went from 1980 buying my first Atari, an 800. And then in, two, uh, let's see, 1987 buying my Mega 2 ST. And then in 95 saying, well, Ataris went out of business. What do I do? I moved on to, to Mac. But I was envious in those days because there was still action happening from overseas, especially Germany. So this Dies Datien Wurden Von, Von, Von. <laughs> and it's got a URL of where this stuff is from and some email addresses. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let me go ahead and close that. Any other readmes? Uh, there's a DBA, uh, MIDI Maze uh, program. I don't want to double click on this yet because that may get me in trouble. Maybe I have to be in a certain ST resolution for this to work. This is a TT. So sometimes, unless you're running an older Atari, the TTs and the Falcons can get uh, a little bit um, lost, we'll say, on maybe running a particular game. So I don't know if this will actually run Mini Maze on an Atari TT, but we'll see, and we'll make another video about that. Uh, t okay, there's one more text file, midimaze.txt and show. Oh, it's a German. <laughs> I can't read this. I don't know. What, so I don't know if there's any English versions, but apparently there's a letter 
uh, with a lot of German text, and it's wonderful to read. Uh, I'm going to have to maybe convert this. I can open this uh, in a text file on my Mac and then use a, uh, a translator to translate it if there's not an English version out there. But anyway, so you can see what this did. This program, Flow i mac flowy mac flow i don't know what it stands for i don't get the the flo probably stands for floppy i m a c i don't know <laughs> anyway you'll see that it creates uh this virtual i'm gonna call it virtual but uh this drive i and it basically took the st image or whatever you grab dot st and it put everything there and then you can go ahead and manipulate it add to it subtract no you probably can't add to it uh because you're not going to be able to save back to the ST file, but you're just grabbing stuff. That's what this video is about. You find a .st file on the internet. I want to play it. I want to use it. You need to open it. And on an Atari uh, sneaker net wise, you can grab that ST file, put it on here, and open it with this Flow iMac. If I figure out the proper pronunciation of that, I'll let you know in a future video. But for now, it worked. Wonderful. This is the second time I've used it. So I'm going to see that I'm going to have to use this quite a bit because a lot of files appear to come in, in a .st format. If you've got an Atari and you have a way to transfer stuff that you've downloaded over to it, there's lots of lots of hard drive devices that you can get, networking devices. Side cart, I think, is a, a networkable device that you can plug in the cartridge and you can set up a little server in your house and grab and transfer files back and forth. All sorts of things I'll be exploring in the coming weeks, months, years. Uh, but for now, Sneaker net, good old floppy, with a USB floppy on my old Mac Pro, no, MacBook Pro, yeah, 2014. I stuck a USB floppy on there. I had an, a, a, a formatted, just regular old uh, format, PC type of format. Slapped the file on there, brought it over here, transferred it, uh, used this Flow iMac app, it grabbed the data. I now transferred it over to my games folder. And then uh, once I open games, Everything's in here, Medi Maze, and then I will tinker and see if it actually launches on here. I've got to do the same for my uh, Mega 2 ST, and then I'm going to connect these to it, and then see if Midi Maze magically starts working, and I'll play with myself for a while. I don't know if I should say it like that, but you get my drift, and then maybe I'll invite my wife in over here to help play with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Friday and my mind's in the gutter, but thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this was instructional. Hopefully you understood what I just did and it all came in clear enough for you to get the gist of it. Post any questions you may have down below and thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.